Oh, sorry guys, out of breath a little bit. <laughs> I just ran up the stairs. But I just quickly wanted to come on just to let you guys know that Leah and I are heading to Paris today. We're gonna to be going over with L'Oreal for a Karl Lagerfeld collaborated fashion show. Um, it's gonna be a really nice chilled itinerary by the looks of it. It's gonna be some nice restaurants, we're going to La Avenue and some other places. And Lids is gonna go and see two fashion shows. I'm gonna be joining her on one of those. But I'm gonna take the opportunity to film a little bit of B-roll for Lids for her channel. And I'm not gonna vlog myself in Paris. So I just wanted to quickly jump on here and show you my outfit because I've managed to find these distressed denim. I've actually lost enough weight. Not because I've been trying to lose weight, but when I don't go to the gym, I basically lose weight and I know that's really annoying for people <laughs> because most people put on weight. I do put on belly fat but I lose like muscle and size and these jeans actually now fit me really nicely as before they kind of look like spray on jeans which I didn't like. Uh, they still are quite tight but they're a lot looser fitting, more comfortable. I'm also spinning my Dior sneakers. These are the ones that are only available at the Champs-Elysees Dior store. You can't get these anywhere else. Um, and it, that is to do with the colorway, not the style. You can buy the style anywhere. It's just the colorway that you can't get. But yeah, I thought I'd quickly come on and show my outfit. I think Lydia, if we take a walk through. You're topless. Yeah. Quick, have your nipples then I'm coming through. Okay. Quick, quick. <gasps> Lydia gets ready topless, guys, when she's not hot. vlogging. Just be honest, you do. No, I was hot. I love coming in here for a little bit of sightseeing. <laughs> Got about... 15 minutes, so get yes. out so I can do my hair. Okay, I'm gonna go and grab a coffee. I am finding that there is a little issue with the focus on this camera. I noticed when I did my Singapore vlog, which I've just got back from, I did notice that there were a few clips that were a bit blurry, which is quite annoying, but I did pre-warn you in that video. I got back from Singapore about two days ago, and that is why I look extremely tired, hence all of the redness. And I've just woken up, to be fair, I've only been up an hour. But yeah, feeling a little bit jet-lagged because it is like a seven hour difference, so, yeah, I'm feeling the strain a little bit, to say the least. So I'm gonna check out of here and I'll catch you when we're back from Paris on Monday. What's up everyone? So um, yeah, this week's been a little bit crazy. I haven't really had the opportunity to pick up my camera. Uh, Lids and I got back from Paris on the weekend and all of a sudden it's Friday, <laughs> just like that. Uh, but yesterday I got down to London. I had to get up at like 4.55, very important to 4.55, not five, um, to head into an event for breakfast. And then I didn't get back last night until probably about 1 a.m. because I went to the Arsenal at the Emirates to watch the Europa League game, which finished at around about 10.30. And then by the time you wait for all of the chaos to pass and then get back on the train, which is a slow train at that time of night, you don't get back until so late. So I'm a little bit tired today, but I'm going to beat my brothers and my dad. We're going to go and play a round of golf locally to us and then probably just have a catch up because my brother actually lives in Ireland. So it's nice when he comes over that we can get together and do something. Hopefully the weather stays dry for us because it is looking a little bit rainy at the moment. This week's been a bit of a wash, but I just thought I'd give you an update what's been going on. I had such a good day yesterday, to be fair. Um, and Arsenal won 4-0, so can't ask for any more. So we are back in the room and uh, golf, wow. That did not go very well. I think I came last by a long way, but we had a good time anyway. I thought I would quickly, hello darling. I'm gonna show my flash, but I think I'll show you first. This is Lumi's uh, top sleeping spot. Yeah, it is, isn't it? <laughs> oh, you sleepy head. Muck on you. I've uh, just picked up a new flash. This is the uh, Godox V8 62S and I was practicing with it yesterday on the Sony and wow, this is a new thing for me. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, 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 uh. There she is. 
Bit of a beast. It's supposed to be a great flash though for the Sony cameras. I just think that I've got a lot to learn with flashes. I don't understand half the terminology and I also don't particularly know exactly what I need to achieve when I'm using it. So I've got to practice with this little puppy. Um, someone's at the door. And then hopefully we'll be able to get some nice evening shots. So yeah, that is a new toy, but even more exciting than a flash i've actually ordered myself some green screen equipment um, i've been doing quite a lot of research actually on green screen and there's kind of like two types of people um, there's people that are a bit slap bash with their green screen and they just kind of like chuck it up and just fingers crossed hope for the best and try to do some post-production editing to make sure that the green screen's effective and then there's the correct way of doing it and the correct way to do a green screen is basically quite a labor intensive process in the environment that i want to use it for my office um, i don't have a huge amount of room and ideally for green screen you need to have a five point lighting system where you light the green screen separately to the subject so it's quite a lot of work that's involved the kind of stuff that i want to use it for my igtv videos it's not something that i can justify doing that amount of prep for because it'll probably take me half a day to set up a green screen correctly and then once that's set up i would probably use it for about two minutes and then take it back down again so i might not get the videos completed in the times that i allocate to get those done we'll see how we go with that what i did do was buy some pop-up green screen equipment and a morph suit so i can kind of just play around with more fast action green screen so that's right, I'm gonna be the first type of person that I mentioned, which is the slap bash green screen guy. But I just wanna kind of experiment and see where I go with it. Obviously, special effects and green screen and all of that kind of video work isn't my profession. It's something that I've never done ever. It's a complete learning curve for me, which I'm really enjoying doing actually, but I obviously don't want it to like overrun uh, the purpose of my channel, which is just really to share with you guys what it is that I love. The pieces and items that I'm into at the present season. So yeah, I don't want to distract from that too much, but I do also like pushing myself and keeping my creative um, stimulated. So I'm really excited actually to receive that and uh, play around with it. So that's gonna be happening very soon. I'm also gonna be doing a massive wardrobe clear out. So I'm gonna do a video again. I did one before actually last year. I donated some bits to charity. I'm gonna do the same again. Go through my wardrobes, have a good clear out. I've got a massive list of charities that you guys suggested last time. I'll look through those, you don't need to send new charities because I've got so many recommendations and there's so many incredible charities that I can help support by donating those pieces to. So thank you for last time suggestions because honestly, um, really, really helpful. So yeah, that's gonna be a video that I'm gonna be doing soon also. I'm kind of like using this week to catch up on a lot of stuff that's going around the house. Liz and I are working to get back on top of the homeware stuff that we've got going on. We've got a couple of spare bedrooms that just need tidying up, a boot room that we're trying to push forward, and then who knows what's gonna be next. So yeah. There's lots going on. There's gonna be lots of more vlogs coming your way. I'd love to hear what you guys think about this new camera, by the way, because there's a lot of in and out focus going on and it's starting to really annoy me. So I need to make a decision as to whether I go back to my old camera and wait for a software update for this one, or whether I just plow on through. How much does it annoy you? Let me know. So I thought I'd quickly show you where we're at actually with these spare bedrooms. This room is almost complete. We just need to put up a couple of pictures either side of the bed. Lydia's done a lovely job so far with this room. This is our other guest's bedroom. So we've gone for the same carpet actually in both the rooms, the herringbone. And then Lydia's ordered this huge super king size bed, which we're still waiting for mattress duvet covers, etc. Um, I'm not sure what's going on with the bedside tables. I don't know whether we're gonna have lamps on them or what's the plan there, I'm not quite sure. We were gonna have these picture frames either side of the bed, but we just decided that it was just gonna be too many different color shades of yellow in here. So I think we're gonna go for something a lot more like whiter. This is a Tom Dixon fro actually that Lydia picked up, um, which is super cool. So yeah, a little update with the bedrooms. We've gone for the black accessories in this room and the other one of you saw has got the more sort of like brassy, softer tones. So yeah, this is a bit more harder and a bit more formal, but we're getting there slowly. We also might put a chandelier in, that's what that's wired for um, up there. In fact, I'm gonna show you something that we wouldn't normally show you. Are you ready? Ooh, there she is. <laughs> so this is, uh, this is our Christmas trees. 
but it's be coming out soon. This is currently just being used as storage because uh, when we had the carpet fitted, the cupboard over here is where we were storing a lot of this stuff. And as you can see, there's nothing in there at the moment. So that might go back in there, but we need to decide. But yeah, this is the pendant just in here that was gonna go up in the center of the room with for a chandelier, but we're still undecided. This room's a little bit further behind than the other room. The other room I feel has made a lot more progress. We are getting there. So I'm sure Lydia has shown these on her channel already, but that is a little update of where we're at. So yeah, they are slightly come together. They're similar as well, which is what we wanted. They're similar styles between the two rooms. But obviously, like I said, this has got the softer accessories and this has got the slightly more harder um, accessories. But I think the next big change that's gonna be made in the house is probably the boot room, which I'm really looking forward to. It's certainly coming into the winter because it's gonna come into its own then because we're gonna be using it with our wellies and stuff. And I think that it's just gonna really finish off our hallway. So really looking forward to that going in. Uh, hopefully in November um, and then we can get the mastic man out who will basically just seal up all of the hallways the utility the kitchen Lydia's wardrobe just to really finish that off gets rid of any of the dark areas where the skirt and sits slightly higher than the floor level um, it's just kind of like tidy these up so he comes around and just puts it everywhere for us in whatever colors we selected for each area after that we then need to start planning our games room which is going to be a huge project but something actually i was thinking today is we don't actually go down there that often um, we've not watched a movie in the cinema room for ages so i might try and persuade lydia to go down there and watch something but we just love our our lounge so much with the fire we just spend so much time just chilling in there um, that we don't really go down so i might try and persuade her or at least this weekend maybe to go down there and watch a movie of some sort because we do need to spend more time in that area so yeah but i'm going to go upstairs and crack on editing this video um, and then getting some things sorted for tomorrow because tomorrow i'm going to try and film another igtv video so i just thought i'll quickly sign off and um yeah sorry that this vlog's been a little bit jumpy um it's been filmed over a week thank you for watching i hope you have enjoyed it and i'll be seeing you on the next one peace yeah, flex. I just wanna win. Yeah. LABB, who we running with?